stocks. Yesterday, semiconductor sell-off bleeding into Asia tech stocks today. Among the big names, Samsung down more than 3%. Though the biggest loser overall here, NVIDIA in the U.S., it fell 9%. That's just yesterday. Then more after hours on Bloomberg reporting that the company received a subpoena from the government as part of an antitrust investigation. Joining us right now to talk about all things chips of Avec era, um, Bank of America Securities Senior Semiconductor Analyst. Good morning to you. Uh, let me just ask the question I think a lot of folks in the marketplace are asking uh, before we even get to where this stock goes. Do you think that this rumor was in the market earlier in the day? Uh, good morning, Andrew. Uh, so first, uh, you know, commenting on anything DOG re uh, related is outside of my area of expertise, but I'll just make uh, one or two kind of factual uh, comments. Uh, first of all, NVIDIA's products have consistently outperformed every industry benchmark. So it's a superior product. Uh, number two, all of uh, NVIDIA's top customers are large, uh, sophisticated companies. Um, you know, they not only buy from NVIDIA, most of them, in fact, buy from AMD also. Uh, many of them have their internal uh, chip projects. You know, Google has been making the TPU for the last eight years. Amazon has been making its own products for the last uh, five years. So there is plenty of uh, competition. And then finally, you know, tension between um, regulators and, and uh, large cap tech is, is not uh, uncommon. Um, you know, we have seen this uh, consistently. Um, so it's hard for me to say how this uh, trends, but, uh, you know, you, you may be right that perhaps there was, um, you know, some uh, speculation of it out there that perhaps uh, impacted uh, the trading uh, yesterday. Are you of the view that the government would have a, a fair case to be made about against this company? Um, so that's why I think that, you know, this is um, outside of my area of uh, expertise, but, uh the key, I think, for uh, the technology industry is that uh, how competitive is the environment. Uh, today, um, the large hyperscalers have a choice of, um, you know, buying. Uh, so many of them are in different stages of setting up their accelerated uh, infrastructure. Um, only about 30, 35 percent of their spending is going into this accelerated infrastructure. So still two thirds is going into areas where uh, NVIDIA doesn't participate uh, yet. And in that one third of spending, you know, NVIDIA has about 75, 80 percent uh, market share. Um, AMD uh, is selling to most of these uh, customers. You know, Broadcom and Marvell are making custom chips. Uh, there are many startups uh, that are making uh, chips for these uh, companies. So, I, you know, we think it's, it's a fairly uh, competitive environment. And then the other point that I mentioned, which is about uh, large cap tech, if, if you look at uh, most uh, companies, uh, large successful technology companies, whether it's in search, whether it's in social operating systems, e-commerce, they tend to have 75, 80 percent market share. So for the large companies with scale benefits to dominate, that's actually the norm uh, for the industry. That That's not abnormal uh, for uh, the industry. Well, the question is, should that be, that, that might be in the software space. You think that should be in the hardware space as well? Well, in semiconductors, remember that the design cycles are even longer. I mean, uh, many software uh, companies, uh, right, rely on features that come out every six to 12 months. But to design a semiconductor chip, you the you have to start two or three years uh, before. You know, it goes through stages of EDA design. It goes through stages of uh, manufacturing, um, then uh, packaging. Uh, I mean, just look at the AI market. It has been supply constrained consistently, and it is still supply constrained um, right now in many parts of the market. So I would actually argue uh, designing chips, uh, manufacturing them, getting out, uh, getting them out uh, reliably, working with software and developers. I, I would, I, I know I'm biased uh, when I say it because I cover the industry, but I would argue that it's actually a harder, uh, you know, endeavor. Which is why when we look uh, across the semiconductor industry, companies with scale tend to dominate. Um, you know, Intel is in tough shape right now, but, you know, they still sell 7 out of 10 CPUs out there, despite uh, them falling behind over the last uh, five years. So, you know, scale uh, and incumbency matter tremendously in uh, semiconductors.